First reading, a reading from the book of Ezra, chapter 9, verses 5 to 9. At the time of the evening sacrifice, I, Ezra, rose in my wretchedness, and with cloak and mantle torn, I fell on my knees, stretching out my hands to the Lord, my God. I said, My God, I am too ashamed and confounded to raise my face to you. O my God, for our wicked deeds are heaped up above our heads, and our guilt reaches up to heaven. From the time of our fathers, even to this day, great has been our guilt. And for our wicked deeds, we have been delivered up, we and our kings and our priests, to the will of the kings of foreign lands, to the sword, to captivity, to pillage, and to disgrace as is the case today. And now, but a short time ago, mercy came to us from the Lord our God, who left us a remnant and gave us a stake in his holy place. Thus our God has brightened our eyes and given us relief in our servitude. For slaves we are, but in our servitude our God has not abandoned us. Rather, he has turned the good will of the kings of Persia toward us. Thus he has given us new life to raise again the house of our God and restore its ruins and has granted us a fence in Judah and Jerusalem. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke Chapter 9, verse 1 to 6 Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. And as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, according to world's standards, According to world's parameters, a person is considered as a powerful person when he is respected by everyone in the society. And when he holds a high position, we say he is a powerful person. And not only that, when he has a lot of riches, if he has a lot of money, we say he is a powerful person. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, according to God's mind, according to God's standards, a person is considered as powerful when he or she has a great capacity to serve others. More you have a capacity to serve others, more you become powerful at the sight of God. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Jesus came to this world to empower the people who became powerless due to sin. Jesus knew that he was given power and authority not to serve himself, not to empower oneself, but to empower others. And since Jesus had such a great capacity to serve others, he was recognized by everyone as a powerful person. Dear brothers and Sisters in Jesus Christ. In today's gospel, we see Jesus sends his 12 disciples 
for a particular mission, for a special mission. Before sending them for a particular purpose or for a particular mission, Jesus gives them power and authority. He gives them power and authority to dry out demons, to heal the sick and to proclaim the good news. In other words, they were given power and authority not to serve themselves, not to look for higher positions, but rather to serve others. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, even the disciples of Jesus made use of their powers and authority to serve others. Therefore, they too appeared before the society as powerful people. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we have heard about St. Teresa of Calcutta who won even the Nobel Prize. She won the Nobel Prize since she served most cornered people in her society. She had such a great capacity to serve others. Therefore, whenever she delivered a speech, whenever she delivered a sermon or a reflection, she was appeared as a powerful person before her audience. It is mainly because she had that such a great capacity to serve others and she was doing those reflections out of the experience that she had while serving the people of her society. Therefore today we are also invited to become powerful people at the sight of God. Sometimes we may appear as powerful people before the society but we may become powerless people at the sight of God if we do not have such a great capacity to serve others. Therefore, let us serve others by using our power and authority so that we may become powerful people at the sight of God. Amen.